What's up, Cubs? So guys, I was thinking, uh, like, if you could spend one, like, 24 hours with any celebrity, who would you choose? Well, there's a lot of amazing celebrities out there that I know of, and I couldn't choose one. I'd probably choose Oprah. She's a good one. Yeah. You use pizzicato and multiple instruments, so what do you think it means? Um, slow and steady. Slow and steady. I think that could be pizzicato. It's a beautiful day outside. The high is 93 and the low is 73. So you play the cello. So what do you think pizzicato means? To pluck the strings of an instrument. That could be it. So, Peyton, speaking of that, who would you choose? I don't know. For me, it'd probably be someone from like Disney Channel or something. But why do you like Oprah? Because I just love her personality and she has her own channel that is just wonderful. That's pretty nice. So I know you play the viola and you're an orchestra, so what do you think the pizzicato means? Uh, plucking strings shortly. I don't know. Okay. For today's lunch, we are having Italian turkey and cheese panini or a corn dog. And for your side, you can choose a California blend, corn, marinara sauce, seasonal fruit, or fruit juice. And for tomorrow's breakfast, we're having a breakfast bowl. Or you could choose a cereal and cinnamon toast, a fruit smoothie and graham crackers. And for your side, you could choose two seasonal fruits or fruit juice. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us in the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for the moment of... Hi Cory Academy, my name is Nurse Jennifer and you may not have met me yet but I am your new school nurse. So if you see me walking around, feel free to say hi or come introduce yourself to me because I would love to meet you. Now a few things I want to talk to you guys about are some things that have to do with how the seasons are about to change and it's about to start getting a little colder and you know something you may not know is you, have you ever wondered why do people get more sick when it's cold outside? Well I'll tell you why. It's because when it's colder outside, it means it's not as humid outside. And so when you sneeze or cough, the little droplets that come out of your mouth, they're smaller because they're smaller with less humidity, which means they travel and they stay in the air a lot longer. And that means we start sharing germs. So let me just give you a few ways that you can try to stay safe all winter long and fall. I know it's not quite winter, but the seasons are changing. So one of the things you can do that's really easy is just cough into your elbow or your sleeve. So when you're coughing, instead of coughing just in front of everybody or sneezing all over everybody, 
try really hard to remember to cough or sneeze this way. That way it doesn't go anywhere but right next to you and it doesn't spread lots of germs. Another way is by washing your hands. Before you eat or before you have snacks or have lunch, always wash your hands with soap and water. And that's also really helpful for all of our sweet friends who have food allergies. Because if you get little pieces of food on your hands, they're going to be there all day and that might affect somebody else. So just anytime you have a snack in class or if you have lunch at the table, then make sure and just wash with soap and water before you do anything else. That will be really helpful. Other ways you can stay healthy are not touching all the rails when you go up and down the um, walkways. You know, instead of touching everything, maybe just hold your hands to your side. That would be really helpful too. Also, just sharing. We don't share. Sharing is good for lots of things, but we don't share food, we don't share drinks, we don't share any of those things. So if anyone wants to share their food with you or share something like that, just politely say, no, thank you. We don't share food at this school and everyone should understand. That also helps our friends with food allergies too because they cannot touch or be around food that might hurt them. So because of that, let's just all make a point to not touch anyone else's food unless it's yours. Don't touch anyone else's lunchbox. Even if they have a really cool thermos, like a really cool Minecraft thermos, don't touch it. It's theirs and it's not yours. So that's gonna really, really help not share germs. And also it's gonna really help our friends with food allergies to not be exposed to things that will maybe hurt them. That can really help us. Another thing that we need to discuss really quickly are these things, box tops. A lot of you have been asking me about box tops and how we're doing it this year. And we're doing it the same as we've always done it. All you need to do is clip these, put them in a baggie, and bring them to me or give them to your teacher to bring to me. And I'm going to be doing a drawing every week. And we have our drawing from this week, so you should have already seen that. But we also have a drawing for next week as well. So be on the lookout for these and maybe when you get your prize. Um, I think that that's all I have for now. If you guys want to let me know if you think of other ways to stay safe and healthy at school, I'm always open for new ideas. Have a great day. Bye. Hey Cubs, so today we're with a very special guest and you may not have seen her around very often because she's our new kindergarten teacher. Welcome Ms. Cruz. Thank you. Good morning. So I'm going to be asking you a couple of questions. Great. Okay. So tell us more about your culture. Well. I, <clears throat> I was born in New York, but I have Puerto Rican parents, so every year I would visit Puerto Rico, and that's how I learned to speak Spanish. It's very, very cool. So, do you have family in the USA? Yes, I do. Um, I have family in New York, and my immediate family is here in Texas. I love Texas. Me too. So, um, how do you like kindergarten? I love kindergarten. Kindergartners are goofballs. They love to play, they love to learn, and they love hugging on you all day long. Yeah, they really do. So, do you have a favorite movie? Favorite movie? Don't tell anybody, but I love Marvel movies. That's my secret passion. I watched Aquaman and I enjoyed it. And like I said, anything Avengers, I love that too. Well, oh boy. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming and we'll see you guys later. Thank you for having me. Well, until that ends up happening, let's just start off our amazing week with the secret to success. Be in the right place at the right time with the right attitude. See you next time, Boy Cubs.